Welcome to today's rough study of realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyakilome, Friday, 4th December 2020. The word in your mouth. For as much as ye have manifestly declared to be the episode of Christ minister by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the Living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy table of the heart. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. Writing the word in your heart is very important. This is done through meditation and constant confession of the word. The more you do this, the more the glory of the word is manifested in your life. We are admonished in the scriptures to be filled with the knowledge of God's word. For out of that abundance, our words will come forth. Your words must be consistent with God's truth, otherwise you will have trouble. The adversary take advantage of your own words to put you in bondage. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 2 says, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Many today are trapped, struggling to come out of one predicament or the other which they may have created through their own words. Jesus said in Mark 11 verse 23 that ye shall have what you say. In Matthew chapter 12 verse 37 he said, For by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy ways thou shalt be condemned. You have to make a determination to talk God's word. Talk kingdom talk. You are in the kingdom of God, and it's a kingdom run by words. Where we rule and prevail by our wholesome, faith-filled words, Remember the Lord's admonition in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. It's about the word in your mouth. Confession Through the help of the Spirit and consistent meditation on the word, I consciously speak wholesome edifying, gracious, inspiring, motivating, encouraging words. With my words, I create success, victory, divine health and prosperity from within, establishing God's righteousness in my world. In Jesus' name, Amen. For that study, Luke chapter 6 verse 45 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 10 Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them that your profiting may appear unto all. Have a blessed day.